from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Kruger National Park, with the help of paper and packaging company Nampak, has changed the way it manages its waste in an attempt to make the park more environmentally friendly. Leandi Colver has the story. The Kruger Park and Nampak recently launched its first 7 million rand waste separation and recycling facility in Skakuza, in the southern region of the park. This facility assists in protecting the park while also providing NAMPAC with additional raw materials to use in its manufacturing processes. NAMPAC Executive Director Fezekile Tsiki tells us more. This beautiful park, this national heritage site of South Africa needs to be protected. So we started by providing the bins to encourage the consumers to separate the, the recyclables from the wet wet waste, which is food and stuff that they throw away. And then we get the recyclables onto this facility, which is called the Materials Resource Facility, MRF. And it then gets separated, packed separately, and then we then take that back into our production system in our NAMPEC factories. The second point is that we are looking to convert this into a job creation opportunity. Already there are 27 people who work here. So as the volumes increase, as the volumes increase, there's a bigger chance of more jobs being created. And we hope that we could even double the number of people who are working here. However, this first facility was only the beginning and the Kruger Park had much more planned in terms of waste management. Tiki elaborates. The future plans is that this is the southern side of of, of Kruger and once this facility is up and running and successfully running, it will then encourage us to put a similar facility in the northern camps of Kruger. Other news making headlines this week, public sector projects help lift Stefanuti Stock's order book to 12.8 billion rand and South African communications firms eye African growth above innovation. Public sector contracts are accounting for a rising proportion of construction company Stefanuti Stock's 12.8 billion rand order book, particularly as demand from mining clients softens. The order book has grown gradually over the last year. It was in February last year, it was 8.5 billion. And at uh, August it was 11 billion, February this year 11.6. And now the current order book is sitting at 12.8 billion rand. It is quite a mix, good mix for us in the, in the order book. We've recently been awarded some nice marine projects and also some road projects in Zambia, which actually means that the order bo- that the work going forward, uh, more work will come from the public sector. While innovation and partnerships feature as top priorities for global communications companies, South Africa's companies look towards increasing their share in existing markets and expanding their geographical footprint, particularly into the rest of Africa, as a growth strategy. On a worldwide basis, communication CEOs are actually more confident about the company's prospects for revenue growth in the next 12 months when you actually compare the 2013 results to the 2012 results. And I think quite an important trend is that a staggering 90% of the communication CEOs are either very confident or somewhat confident about the company's growth prospects in the next, in the next 12 months. It's, it's interesting to note that if you go and look at the views of the communication CEOs and their confidence in terms of revenue growth over the next 12 months, that's 44% of the CEOs are actually very confident. Um, that compares to 39% of the CEOs on a, on a global basis. And that uh, contrasts with the South African CEO's views where 25% of the CEOs actually believe that there's going to be revenue growth um, in their businesses over the next 12, over the next 12 months. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.